Okay, so I want to continue talking about the steps, and I'm thinking about step three. We talked about the pros and the cons. We talked about um, how when I read the pros out loud, and then I add the part that says, except when I don't trust God, because what I found in the cons part of the list was that the issue really is, is that I don't trust God. Most of the cons, no matter what they are, all point back to me not trusting God. And so how can I believe that God loves me and wants what's best for me if I don't trust him? How can I believe that um, I can get sober or I can help somebody else or I can stop eating or I can stop gambling or whatever it is or I can clean up my side of the street if I don't trust God to help me? Because a sick mind can't heal a sick mind. I need help and no human power is going to be able to relieve me of my alcoholism, my controlling, my gambling, my eating, my pride, I mean my my fear, my anger, my resentment, my anxiety. No human power is going to be able to do this for me, so I have to ask for a power greater than myself to restore me to sanity. But if I don't have a power that I can rely on and that I can fully trust, that's a problem. And we saw that when we did the pros and cons list and then read the pros and cons list out, um, read the pros out and said, except when I don't trust God. So now we're going to be looking for power greater than ourselves, greater than alcoholism, greater than any of the problems that I have. And it has to be a big one. And sometimes people will say, oh, well, you know, you can use um, a doorknob or, I mean, they really do say that, or you can use nature and uh, the ocean. I live right down the street from the ocean. And true, I can hear the ocean and it's powerful. It's more powerful than me, but it's not more powerful than my alcoholism. It can help me with my anxiety. It might be able to calm me a little bit if I'm sitting there, but it can't help me with what's going on inside of my head. So I need a power that created the ocean. I need a power greater than the ocean. I need a power that created the universe. I need to believe in something big. And so I need to write a job description for a power that I can hire to be my higher power. I need to ask big. I need to go big or go home. We're going to need something really big here. So a job description. You don't have to worry about paying for advertising by the line or by the word. We're just going to go for broke. Write something. You hear other people talking about their relationship with God. You sometimes even hear, I do, sometimes even hear other people talking about what they believe about God. And I think, wow, I really want a God like that. I wish my God could be like that. And your God can be like that. It's just a matter of asking. And so um, I'm going to write. I'm going to start writing. I want a lot of things in this higher power. I want a manager for my life. You know, so often we have this God that we feel like we've asked to help us and it's like hiring a manager for your life and then paying them exorbitant amount of money and then sending them to the beach on vacation and you just take it all back and do it anyway and then somebody says hey you look like you're pretty stressed out of control I thought you hired somebody to help you yeah I did I did and uh well, where are they well I sent them to the you know to the beach um because I knew that I could do a better job I knew that I could handle this and so I just I just did it myself and we do that with God. You know, I, I was just talking to someone earlier and we were talking about the idea of a power greater than myself. Um, I need to hand over the care of my life, my, my, my thoughts and my actions, which is just my will in my life over to the care of God. So if I bring my car to my mechanic and I have a problem with my car and I know he can help me, I bring it over for him to take care of it. And then I stand around and I say, well, what do you think? Do you think it's the tires? Do you think it's the engine? What do you think is the problem? Is it the electrical? What do you, is it the gas? What do you think? How long do you think he would take that? How long do you think it would be before he would ask me to go bring my car someplace else? Seriously, you're going to stand here and try to help him figure out what's going on. If I trust him, I'm going to give him my car and I'm going to leave. And I'm going to trust him to take care of it and let me know what's going on. So I... um own the car. I still have to pay for the car. I have to pay for the gas. I have to pay for the um, registration. I have to pay for the insurance. It's my car. But 
when I have a problem and I need help, I take it to somebody who can help me with that problem. And this is my idea of what God can do for me. When I can't handle things, I go to God. And the truth is, is that I can handle a lot of things. And God gave me a brain for a reason. And he expects me to use it. But when I come to a place where I don't know what to do, you know, he promised me that he would help me, you know, and I can do it as long as I remember to ask for help. People say all the time, oh, um, you never get more than you can handle. And I think, no, I don't think that's true. Um, I think we get more than we can handle on a regular basis as long as we forget to ask for help from people or from God. So this is what I want to learn to do. I want to learn to ask for help, but I better have something that I believe in you guys, because if we're going to keep going through these steps, you're going to need something more than a doorknob or the ocean. You're going to need a pretty good understanding of what God is, what God is to you. Now, God is unknowable 100%, but I don't need to know God 100%. In fact, if God was small enough for me to understand him, he wouldn't be big enough for me to, to for him to do everything that he needs to do to take care of me. That's for sure. So I have to allow there's going to be things that I don't understand, but I need to understand some things. And one of the things I need to understand is that he loves me. He wants what's best for me and he will help me when I ask him and he will do for me what I can't do for myself. But I can do a lot of things for myself. And one of the things I can do is make a decision. And that's why I have to have an understanding of a higher power so that I can make a decision to turn it over and then test them and see what it's like. Just go for it. Play with them and try them out. Just see what it's like to try something, you know, um, to trust him, to turn something over. And it might be, you know, I know for me, I started with something small and I, actually the truth was I didn't really have any other options. And so I thought like, well, okay, I'll, um, I'll let God take care of this. It was a big joke. And you know what he did because I'm still here. So I don't even remember what happened except that I knew that it was taken care of because I'm still here. So, um, we're going to write a job description and make it detailed, make it clear be honest about what you would like. Dream big. Ask for big. Because this is where we're going to um, start to see how exciting it could get if I thought I really had a power greater than myself that could restore me to sanity and then some. All right. So that's the second part of the third step that I like to do. And then we'll talk more after you get that done. Okay? See ya.